Hey everybody, this is Super Testnet, and I just wanted to show you guys a um, a lottery that I made in Bitcoin Script. I'll show you how it works, and then maybe explain a little bit about what's uh, what's going on in it. All right, let's get started. So uh, this, as you can see, is is what the lottery looks like, uh, and I've got a little faucet down here. Uh, what you you start out by sending your public key to whoever it is you want to play with, and up to five people can play. You just keep adding pub keys into these things if you want more players. Um, but here I'm just going to have one player, so there's that. Uh, then both players need to put in a Bitcoin address where they want their winnings, if any, to go. Uh, I'm going to use this testnet faucets address so that I just give them their money right back to them. Uh, and I will put that into both of these, both players sending their money to the faucet. Of course, normally they would not do that. They would send their money, send their winnings to themselves. Uh, okay, so I've got this player's pub key in here, and I'm going to put this player's pub key in in here and they're both going to hit submit it's going to tell them to deposit some sats into this bitcoin address uh, importantly you get to keep your keys while you're doing this lottery it's non-custodial uh, the private key for this address is held directly in this browser uh, and the key the, the coins never leave your keys until unless you lose because i'm using a bitcoin smart contract to do all this uh, so it's kind of neat anyway uh, i am going to uh, deposit this many sets, 2120 into there, so 2120. Uh, I have to select all images containing taxis, so there's a taxi, 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 verify. So it's going to go ahead and uh, think for a second. You can see it thinking right there, and it's going to send off that money. And uh, when it does, we should see this little progress bar uh, do some stuff. So let's wait for that to happen. Um, and yeah, uh, this this part takes a little bit because uh, because the faucet's not that fast. But now that it has sent it within about five seconds, this, this progress bar should go up. So it did, and now it's waiting for your opponent's deposit. Let's do that. And all right, so they are both um, getting funded right now. And I'm going to scroll up here so we can watch what happens. As soon as this deposit gets detected, these progress bars are going to start moving, and uh, things will move a little bit quickly. I'm using the Nostra protocol to send signatures um, back and forth between each player, and they sign a bunch of transactions that allow them to prevent the other one from cheating, essentially. Uh, and then they store those in their browser. So this one moved up. And now this one's going to move up, and they're just flying back and forth, getting transactions and signatures and getting everything, and we get some pop-ups. So this pop-up warns you um, that, the, that the lottery funding transaction was broadcasted. The money, the money was sent from here into the lottery address, which is still attached to your private keys, by the way. Uh, all of their private keys go into the lottery address. Um, or they don't go into it, but they, they create the lottery address. Um, but it isn't confirmed yet, and so the money can be double spent. Like this guy could double spend it, or this guy could double spend the input and then take the money back. So it asks, you know, do, do you want to proceed uh, while waiting for uh, the transaction to confirm, the funding transaction to confirm? Uh, you should click OK. That's the only safe way to do this. Uh, if you click Cancel, um, you'll just trust your counterparty not to double spend and not to take their money back, which is what I'm going to do in this case because, first of all, I trust myself. And second of all, I'm making a short YouTube video and can't, you know, sit, sit here all day and wait for things to confirm. Um, but yeah, you should definitely not click cancel. You should always click OK. Um, anyway, now it is uh, getting some random numbers from the blockchain, or actually in this case from the mempool. And uh, the smart contract determined that this player won and this player lost. Uh, and if I go back to, the, um, uh, back to here and refresh this page, it's warning me that I can't refresh it after having sent um, because it'll resend the send. Uh, then it will show you that he got an incoming payment of 58, uh, 580 sats, which is the, what the victor uh, got from this transaction. Um, I know that he, since, since they both put in 580 or 540, the actual amount that the winner would have gotten out of this is 1,080, but I hard coded in a 500 sat fee. And so the faucet only got 580 sats out of that. Also, um, each party deposited a sum equal to that into, into a collateral address, and they both sent that money back to the uh, faucet as well. So they each got um, 1,080 sats out of a 
uh, out of a collateral address and send that to the faucet minus a 500 sat fee. So the faucet only got 580 sats back. Anyway, yeah, the lottery worked, and uh, and now you've seen it. Let me uh, let me show you a couple of cool things about it. So I'm going to inspect this and look for a couple of Bitcoin transactions that happened in here. Um, so let's see, transactions. Your transaction was broadcasted. Uh, well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look into mempool.space for these testnet tx slash that transaction. And uh, let's see some of these. This is one of them, but this isn't the one I want, actually. I think I want uh, this one. This is the funding transaction. And you can see that uh, it's got two inputs. Um, this, this transaction here took the inputs from both players who both deposited 2,120 sats into their deposit addresses and used their private keys to create um, two, two uh, what do you call them, um, uh, collateral addresses that each had 1,080 sats in them, and a lottery address that had 1,080 sats in it. So there, there's a collateral address, there's a collateral address, there is a lottery address. And then this last bit went to uh, went to pay for fees. 1,000 sats went to go for fees. Uh, okay, so we have the collateral addresses. Then when they withdrew from these collateral addresses in this transaction, um, they they took their five hundred they took their five hundred eighty sats out of it. There there was a thousand eighty in it. They took five hundred eighty out uh, and sent that to the faucet. And then five hundred sats went to a fee. Uh, and when they did that, they revealed if I look into details, uh, they revealed something called a preimage right here, which is a random number that uh, that they picked beforehand. And I do some arithmetic on these random numbers that each one reveals uh, to, to figure out who the winner is. Uh, and then if we look at the lottery transaction, um, this one is kind of neat because uh, here the winner got 580 sats out and sent 500 uh, to as a fee. Uh, but he uh, did, oops, wrong button. He did this script. He ran this big old script. Look at that, um, which is which is like the lottery. This is the lottery logic. Uh, and I would love to explain this, um, but this that's not good for a, a video like this one to explain what this script does. So, you know, um, look for that in maybe a future video or in some of my classes on, on how to do Bitcoin scripting. But um, yeah, if anyone says Bitcoin doesn't have smart contracts, uh, you can show them this because we definitely do. Uh, we can do really complex things like a random lottery uh, with random number generation and stuff like that. Uh, cool. So that is my video. I hope you like it. And uh, that's what the Bitcoin lottery function looks like uh, that I invented this month. Have a nice day.